In this video, we'll be discussing our Bostick uh, nail gun, which is also known as our Bostick brad and staple gun combo. Uh, when we're referring to using this nail gun, we want to make sure that we're wearing our safety glasses. Okay, looking a little more at the nail gun, we notice that we have uh, nail gun lubricant. This is designed to be put into the actual spot where you connect your air hose. So you would just put one drop in there and that would lubricate the nail gun, all the working parts inside. Now, do we have to do that uh, every day? No, once a semester would be good enough. Okay, looking at our two different items that we have here, this will be our brads. A lot of people refer to them as nails, <clears throat> but they are known as brads. These are our staples, quarter inch wide by however long you want. So if you notice when we start referring to them, to these, we may say the half inch staples or the one and a half inch staples. So that would be the length this way. This way, quarter inch stays the same all the time. The brads are also the same. You would refer to the length of those. So you would refer to the length of those for based on what material you're going through. So if you're going through just one piece, you'd want it to be short enough to where it doesn't go through the other side. You notice if you hold those up there, it is thicker than that actual piece of wood. Versus if you hold it to go through two, it probably, it would go into the second piece, but it's probably not enough to hold. So uh, we'll look at how to load the actual nail gun with either the brads or the staples. So pushing this orange button, orange button, you will slide it back and then notice that I'm going to slide the staples over that actual bar. That holds the staples in, then you would push that back. It's a little hard to push at the end, but it locks in. You put the brads in. You would just lay them upside of this side and then close it back up, okay? Now, one thing that may scare you when you start off is the air direction up here. So when this nail gun fires and it allows, it pushes the uh, nail, brad, or staple into the actual piece of wood, it shoots the leftover air out. So if that is facing towards you, that could uh, startle you. Another thing is right here on the front, you can turn this counterclockwise or clockwise, whichever way you need to to adjust the actual depth of the nail going into the wood. So if the air compressor is running and you have a lot of pressure, you may need to release it to where it doesn't drive it as far into the wood. Versus if you don't have a lot of pressure, you can engage it to where it sets it deeper. It's all depending on what kind of material you're using. If you're using thick material, it may need to go deeper versus if you're using thinner material, you may not want it to go as deep and rip through it. So, Putting the staples back in, then you hook up your air hose. So I'm going to slide this back, then I will push this on. Now you have to push very hard, and then you release that and it stays on. A lot of times you see people who cannot get this to stay on. Now to release it, you want to push this towards the hose, and pushing the hose towards the actual nail gun, and you will slide that back and release. Now you release the air that was built up inside of it. That's what that noise was. So once again, slide this back and then slide the gun on. Now, to use the staple, you have to know which direction it comes out. So when I shoot this this way, it's going to come out this direction. Versus if I turn it, it's going to shoot the staple this direction. The safety precaution on the end, you notice that it pushes in. That allows you to not be able to pull the trigger and shoot a staple or a brad when you're in midair. So, putting this down onto the wood, pressing down with my hand onto the wood, and then I'm going to make sure that it's where I want it. Then I will pull the trigger. And it uh, placed our staple into the wood, as you can see here. 
So that may be a little deep. It actually sunk it below the surface, which would allow us to put some putty in and then sand it off. If you have any questions on how to use our Bossix Brad and Staple Gun, please uh, be sure to ask.